Hey everyone, I have an interesting question for you today. Why learn DOS assembly in the 21st century? Well, if you want to learn assembly, let's say you want to make some sort of video game, or I guess if you want to make accounting software using a text-based user interface, learning assembly these days is not that easy. It's not as common as it was in the 70s and the 80s and even the early 90s. And even learning it, it's not super accessible. Now you can follow my BIOS programming series and there's using QMU in that, which is a virtual machine, but a lot of people haven't heard of it and they might wonder, well, what is this strange program you want me to run? However, DOSBox is fairly common. If you wanna run an old game from the 90s, you probably have DOSBox already on your computer. So why not use the skills you wanna learn in assembly and then apply it to something that is accessible for a lot of people? And whether you wanna write that game I was talking about or your accounting software, if you want to share it with people, you can say, oh, spin up DOSBox and you can use it there as opposed to use this program you've probably never heard of and you're more likely to get people to use it that way. So you might be wondering, well, if I started your BIOS programming series, do I have to throw all that away if I want to start learning DOS programming? And the answer is no. DOS basically is the BIOS with a fat file system on top of it and and by FAT, I mean FAT for the file allocation table. And a few extra helper functions to make your life a little bit easier. But all of the BIOS stuff that you might be learning currently from my other series is still completely applicable. So I hope you join me on the DOS programming assembly series here. And... Also, we'll continue to see you in the other videos. We're not getting rid of other series to uh, usurp with this one. We're going to continue to run them side by side. But to answer the question of why learn DOS assembly in the 21st century, I would say if you want to learn assembly, this is the most accessible way to do it. So we look forward to seeing you in future videos.